I just got back another order from CGC. Stay tuned for this unboxing as we find out what books we got back and who signed them. Welcome back comic book fans, this is Rusty again from Collector Auctions and in today's episode we are going to do a CGC unboxing. I've got at least one, possibly two books in here from one of their signature series events. I have no idea which one it is at this point. This order was sent out with a lot of other ones for several signing events at CGC that were spanning over about a month, month and a half. So I have no idea without going back and pulling up my records to find out which one it is. It's Honestly, it's a lot more fun this way. I can open it up and be a little surprised. So we'll do that today. But before I begin, definitely hit that like button, slap the subscribe, and definitely hit that notification bell. That way you guys will be notified whenever one of my new shows come up, usually on Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m. All right, guys, let's get into the books. All right, guys, so I've got the box here. I've got my knife. We're just going to jump right into it. It was funny. I Filming this after work, I literally got this box from FedEx directly from them this time because they actually knocked on the door and had me sign for it. It's the first time in probably a year that I've had FedEx with one of these CGC boxes actually sign for it. They usually dump it and you get a notification that it arrived. And this is one of the first times I can, I, honestly, I can't even remember the last time I signed for something from CGC via FedEx, that is. So, of course, it was 10 minutes before I was about ready to walk out the door to go to work. And I'm like, okay, sign. I'm glad it's here because we are having such bad weather here in the Maryland area with this tropical storm that's coming through. A lot of rain today, so I'm glad I was right there on the spot because there's not a lot of cover on our porch and definitely it would have gotten wet because my wife was at work. So I was real happy to get this and just put it in the house and I knew as soon as I get home from work and get cleaned up and everything, I could sit down and we could shoot this video. So we got it open. And we're going to do what we normally do, which is I'm going to try to avert my eyes and not look and see what I've got. I will just peek enough to see that I've got the book held right when I get ready to pick it up. Because, as I said, I don't know what the grades are. I, in fact, I don't even know which order this is at this point. But, I can see that it's two books. And here it is. Inside the box, you've got a bubble wrap and... Then you've got the books between two of their cardboard pages and rubber band right there. So let's get rid of that. And I'm just going to peek down here. Oop, definitely upside down. Okay. All right. I think I've got them right. And I'll take them out of the bags as well so you can see them pretty good. Let's see what we've got. I have no idea. This is so exciting. All right, what do we have? Oh, okay. So this was from the Brian Michael Bendis signing. He was also with, with um, oh my God, why am I? Mark Bagley, I'm completely spacing on that. And they were having the signing at CGC and I thought, okay, what would I like to send to them, and what do I have on hand at the time, and I'm going, okay, I definitely had some of these sitting around, these are the Ultimate Fallout, number four, these are the facts, this is a facsimile edition right here, and I'm going, okay, I don't have a regular number one anymore, I've got a number two second print, in fact, I just sold my 9.8 on that. Actually, I traded that at the Baltimore Comic Con for some other books. I have a raw Ultima Fallout second print that I think is going to be really good, and I think I'll get that in the CGC at some point. But I was thinking, okay, what do I want to get signed? I thought this would be really good. These facsimile reprints are actually pretty cool to get signed as well. It won't have the same value as the original, of course, but I thought for the signing, and especially you can get a 9.8, hopefully, on this, that 
it would be kind of cool to have. So what I did, there was uh, somebody else, and I cannot recall, there's somebody else in, with the Mark Bagley signing with Brian Michael Bendis, and I can't remember who that was. Maybe it was Alex Sinclair, maybe. I'm not sure. I can't I'm not, I can't recall. But I wanted to get the two of them on this book right here, and I thought, okay, this is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and get this. And you can tell I've got the label. I did the special label with uh, Miles Morales right there. And, of course, I'm looking at the monitor. I can't see it sitting behind it like this. I'll have to take a look in a second. But let's do the grade reveal and see if we got that 9.8. Oh, really? 9.6? Are you kidding me? These things were immaculate. Yeah, it's a pretty neat Miles Morales Spider-Man label. In fact, I don't even remember that being the label. It's like, a, I swear to God, that was not the label that I chose. I mean, it was a, it was a Miles Morales Spider-Man, but I don't remember it being this one. Not that it really matters, to be honest with you. But, yep, signed by Brian Michael Bendis and Mark Bagley. Brian Michael Bendis signed it on August 15th. Bagley signed it on August 29th. That's interesting that they did these in separate signing events. Different. That's completely different weeks. But we got Mark Bagley up there. You got Brian Michael Bendis down here. 9.6. Honestly, this wasn't a big investment. I definitely would probably just hold on to this right here. A little disappointed because I thought I had chosen some really good copies on that. Um, but... We got one more chance because the two books I sent, I actually sent two of these facsimiles. And I think the idea was I could keep one and sell the other. It wasn't a big investment, but somebody might like to have a copy of this and might at least pay for part of pay for the signing. So I could have one basically at cost, I guess. Anyway, let's see what the grade is. I'm I'm holding it up like you don't know what the what the label is. It's the same label. All right, let's see what we did here. There we go. Got our got our 9.8 on that. Yeah, that's really nice. That's nice to have. Again, this is not the original. If it was the original, I'm sure there would be a, this big, big price tag on it, especially with the 9.8, of course. But I wasn't really interested in having this mega key signed like that in this case. I, I, I thought... I think it would be pretty cool to have this in the PC. And again, having a facsimile reprint in these situations are actually pretty good. In fact, I sent a New Mutants 98 facsimile reprint for the Rob Liefeld signing as well. I expect that back in within the, hopefully the next month as well. I did send another one of his keys, and it was actually the original key on that. I think I sent the original uh, first issue with Cable in it as well. But for the 98 with Deadpool, I sent the facsimile because I don't have the original on that. But I think those are kind of cool to have in the PC. I love having signed books. I love getting autographs. I You go to conventions and I'm all about getting autographs. I'm not about getting sketches done and things like that as much. But I do enjoy getting collecting autographs. And whether it's comic books or sports or anything like that. So to have these signed like this even if it's a facsimile reprint, like I said, is still really good for me. So that's it, guys. It was a really quick video today. Not much to it. It's going to be a really short show. When you guys sit down and watch this video and you tune in on Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m., you're going to go, wow, this is the quickest show ever. Well, I didn't have a lot of content. It was just a simple CGC unboxing. It was the Mark Bagley. It was the Mike Brian Michael Bendis signing. Super happy to have these. It was not a perfect submission. That 9.6 is really disappointing. You know there's not going to be any greater notes. And I'll see if I can find anything under closer inspection. But I probably will just try to sell that 9.6 to, to kind of get some of the costs back. I mean, it's pretty expensive sending these things in. So I doubt, I doubt that I'll even cover my cost on the... With if I sell the 9.6 at this point. I was hoping for two 9.8s and somebody would might actually like this. But it is what it is. I didn't put a lot of money into this signing. So 
we're just going to enjoy it. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick video for today. If you did and you want to comment about this, these books and everything and how I went about this, this particular signing, definitely leave me a comment in the comment section below. And if you're interested in these books or any books that I ever show on my channels, definitely reach out to me at collectorauctions at yahoo.com or DM me on my Instagram account, or you can always check out my eBay and my short box pages stores online. All those links are definitely down in the description of the video. So there's a lot of ways you can contact me if, again, if you are ever interested in any of the books. But that's it for today, guys. Thank you for joining me and hopefully you would join me for the next episode. And I'm out of here, guys. Take care. And remember, every comic has a story. <laughs>